New details have emerged about a Newton County man arrested on 18 counts of sexual abuse charges against children. Tonight, we are learning he was once a registered sex offender, but was removed from the list back in 2017. Tonight, one of his victims is speaking out about what happened to her. Rob DiRienzo has the story you'll see only on Fox 5. Jeannie Fulcher tells me she's sleeping a lot better at night now that the man convicted of molesting her more than 25 years ago is back behind bars. But she says with that comes a degree of frustration. She said she decided to speak out publicly to encourage other victims to come forward to law enforcement. It started when I was seven and it hasn't ended until today, uh, until he was caught. Derek Crooms is Jeannie Fulcher's cousin by marriage. She said his abuse started in the mid 90s. I, it happened to me for a year before I had the courage to tell someone about it. He is now back behind bars. U.S. Marshals took 45 year old Crooms into custody at a house on Carlton Road in Stone Mountain Friday morning. In 1996, a judge sentenced Crooms to 20 years, but he served just four. And I instantly called the victims in this and let them know that they could sleep peacefully tonight. In 2017, Kroom successfully petitioned a judge to remove his name from the sex offender registry despite her objections and his guilty plea. Their argument was that he was a changed man and he was a model citizen, didn't get in trouble anymore, hasn't committed crimes since. But Fulcher believes these new charges show that he hasn't changed and he should have never been taken off the sex offender registry or put back on the streets. Do you think that there is a systematic failure here? I do. I do think that our justice system has failed us. I believe that once you're convicted, if you plead guilty to raping children, or child molestation charges that you shouldn't get out of prison at all. You shouldn't get a second chance. Crooms could appear before a judge for his first appearance as early as Tuesday morning. Coming up at six, how Jeannie helped lead U.S. Marshals to where he was staying. In Newton County, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.